Hey everybody, it's Melissa and I'm going to be giving you my five month update video on my 22 karat 1.7 millimeter chain from Hawaii Rope Chains. Now this is the Franco, it's diamond cut and it sits at 18 inches on my neck. And this has been my daily wear. So I never take this off my neck unless I'm doing jewelry videos and just showing y'all what other pieces look like um around my neck but other than that after those videos get published and after i'm done recording those this piece goes straight back on my neck i wear this in pools beaches jacuzzis showers when i'm sleeping it is a very durable piece and i remember the very first time that i got this i would get tiktok comments from people and even on youtube where they'd say oh that thing is gonna snap in your sleep that's gonna break you wasted your money on like something too soft, right? And here we are five months later, and this is seriously holding up like my 14 karat pieces were when I was wearing 14 karat. And real quick, let me just weigh this out for you. It's going to be fairly light. So let me see. Ten grams flat. Let me just weigh it again. Just want to make sure. 10 grams and for the hell of it I do want to put the pendant on the uh, the scale as well because I just want to see what my daily wear is 16.4 so 16.4 grams is what I got around my neck on a daily basis and when I first got this chain it was $800 on Hawaii Rope Chain's website but I did a trade-in so I had this other Franco that I wasn't wearing as much and I saw the high purity and I'm like, damn, I want to get my hands on that. It was 800 bucks at the time. So I traded that in. And then I also had some cash on top um, for that trade in. And no regrets. I love this. That old Franco was, I think, around three, no, maybe 2.5 millimeters. Um, but this is definitely a substantial piece right here. And you know what? Let me also show you what this looks like in comparison to 14 karat. Now this... Rope chain is about double the size. This is three millimeters, but y'all could just see right there the coloring difference. Now the 22 karat has 91% gold purity, whereas the 14 karat has 58.5%. So that's why it looks a little bit more, um, you know, it looks a bit lighter in color. It doesn't look as yellow, um, but I just love the way the higher purity looks um, with the 58. Point for 58.5% gold purity here. It's also mixed with other cheaper alloys like um, like silver, like, what? <laughs> that's, I was about to just, I don't know, I'm not gonna say what I was gonna list, but other, other alloys, right? But still 14 karat nice. Don't dog on anybody for whatever purity they choose, y'all, okay? I know that there's a lot of snobs out there into high purity that shit on anyone wearing lower purity any chance they get and that's just so lame y'all okay and vice versa with people shitting on high purity because they've never tried it but they've heard online that it's not wearable so they want to dog on it just let people enjoy what they like can we do that please that's just the way to go about it but anyways i'm gonna just throw this on the neck to show you what it looks like i will put the pendant with it because i love the pendant and i just wanted to show you that or at least document not really show you, but just document on my videos how my taste of jewelry has changed. Because before, the very first chain that I bought for myself was a Vermeer piece. It was from Jackson. It was the Miami Cuban, and it was three millimeters, right? So I got three millimeters, 22 inches, because for some reason it didn't register to me that I have a smaller neck and all the videos of the people that I were seeing have thicker necks, right? So rookie mistake on my end. And this is during the time that I wasn't as into um, wanting a solid piece. So I was like, you know what? This is cheaper. Let's see what this is about. Apparently there's real gold on top and it's Vermeer sterling silver layered with gold. Three millimeters. I was like, this is really small. That video is still up on my channel. And I swapped that for the five millimeter, right? And I loved the five millimeter. Then a couple months later, I got the seven millimeter Vermeer Miami Cuban. And then after that, I was like, dang, I want, I want to get into solid gold. Then I got into my my rope chain from Jacoji right here, 14 karat. And then as time moved on, I was like, you know what? I want a subtle, classy piece. And I just like the way that the high purity 22 karat looks with my skin tone. I just think that it complements it a bit more. 
And then with the 24 karat piece from Manet, I was like, this is just absolutely gorgeous. And I just know that this is a setup I would rock for the rest of my life. You know, this is something I can wear every decade of my life and it's not gonna look out of place. It's gonna be, you know, if I was 40 years old right now wearing my seven millimeter Miami Cuban link, it would kind of look a bit ridiculous, you know? So I wanted something that is just gonna be a timeless sort of look. And in fact, I think it also has to do with the fact of maybe the sort of styling that I've seen as of lately, I've been watching The Sopranos and I just love the way they style their jewelry. So if I were to get another chain, it would be cool to have sort of maybe like a double thin chain look, maybe two pendants at the same time. I think that would be a move as well. But this is what it looks like on neck, y'all. And I'm gonna back up here as far as I can for you. I'm rolling over something here. But just so you could see how the chain looks on my neck. And this is a, um, it's a thin piece. So y'all are not gonna be able to tell that it's a Franco from far away, right? And usually the question that I receive after that is, well, should I even get a Franco of that millimeter if people can't tell the difference between, like they can't even see the link design of it from a distance. And I totally get that. But the reason I went with the Franco is because of the durability, because I know that it's not gonna snap on me, that this is somewhat of a heavy chain, even though it's a thinner millimeter. And I will say that I own a 2.5 millimeter Rolo link. That one's from Monet as well. But this right next to it, this Franco is 1.7. It looks about the same size. So Franco's Sometimes they do look like there's more gold in them, so they can have a nice presence. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on this chain as well, the pendant too, but the chain itself is just something that people would come up to me that I know, um, and then they would be like, ooh, they would feel it, and they would kind of do this in their hands, like, oh, that's a heavy, they're like, I didn't know that it was that heavy, you know? So they would grab hold of it, and they're like, oh yeah, that's heavy, not including the pendant, by the way. Then when the pendant came in, people were, you know, impressed with both of them. But this chain right here, it does hold its own. And I think that if I weren't to get a pendant, right, I would get a 22 karat thin chain as a 16 inch piece because I find that so hot. All right, let me just tell you this because I know when you're into jewelry, people are into the bigger is better, right? They're like, oh, I want the eight millimeter, the seven. Let me just tell you, maybe it's just from more of a woman's perspective on it, but when somebody has just like a thin sliver of jewelry around their neck, not hanging low, but just like right by their collarbone, right by their clavicle, to be specific with you. And like, it just, it's just attractive, you know, especially if this is somebody that, you know, maybe they like, they work out and stuff and you just see that piece just sitting on their neck and it's subtle. It's not like the person is wearing the chain, the chain isn't wearing the person, you know what I mean? It's super attractive so that's what i would do if i could like i even if i had like five hundred thousand dollars at my disposal to spend on jewelry i wouldn't get like a bust down diamond like giant miami cuban link or a huge rope chain like i would still do like thin pieces right but i would have it higher up on the neck because even when you have that sort of look right and you're at the pool or at the beach and you step out of the water and you just i mean you, you look great and then you just have that thin piece of gold right there, or even silver if that's your move. It is super attractive. It really is. I don't know if y'all know this, but I haven't seen this show. Apparently it was huge on HBO, maybe, no, Hulu, back in 2020. It's called Normal People, and I'm probably gonna start watching it. I don't know what it's about, but there was a craze that was happening with the main character's chain. So this guy was wearing what looked like a flat curb or just like a curb chain but it was, a th it was probably a flat curve, maybe a curb length, but it was maybe two millimeters, not 2.5, just like two millimeters. And he had it as just like his choker look. And just women went wild over this thing. And I didn't even find out about it until maybe like this month because I was looking for jewelry and I was like, what the hell is the Connell chain? And I clicked on it and it was just a bunch of women from like three years ago thirsting over this actor's chain that he was wearing. And he was, I guess, um, a jock he was like a college rugby player his character or maybe uh, he was like a swimmer or something and he always just had this thin silver chain on him and like women in the comment section were like this is chaining done right you know what i mean like this is what a sexy chain is whereas with the guys from what i've seen and like the people that 
have been in my DMs, they always want like the bigger pieces like that. But the women were attracted to, you know, the guys wearing like the thinner pieces because again, they wore the chains and the chain just accentuated that area and it just looked more attractive versus always oh, just wearing a big gaudy chain and like the actual person wearing it just gets lost in the sauce, you know? And for me, I feel the same way. Like even when I wear this piece like around my girlfriend, she really loves it. And before she used to love the thicker Miami Cuban links, but the second that I put on this setup, it's it's been her favorite setup on me. She's like, I love that chain. I love that pendant. So even if you're not a thin chain person, but you want to throw a nice pendant on it, y'all, like just get a heavier pendant and like your look will be so clean. Trust me. Like I remember I went to Fa. I think the last time I went with my girlfriend to Fa, the waiter was just in like the classic Rocky Balboa setup. It was just a thin chain with a small crucifix higher up on his neck. Maybe like it was probably sitting at 20 inches for him because his neck was thicker. But I was like, that is nice. Like that's just, it's a clean look and it's an affordable look, y'all. It is super affordable versus I remember when we went to watch like this Broadway show, there was this guy that had like four Miami Cuban links on and like he was, he had a polo, but he had them all out like that. And it just looked tacky. You know what I mean? So sometimes like when you're trying to show and be too extravagant with it, it just loses the appeal it doesn't look as good for me personally again wear what you're happy with but if you're wearing it to flex and think that people are impressed with the way you look it does the exact opposite when you got too much cluster on your neck like that and it's it's just taking away from you you know what i'm saying but anyways that was a bit of a rant love this piece i'll be giving you the six month update or maybe seventh month update in a couple months all right and i do have a discount code for hawaii rope chains it's just melissa M-E-L-I-S-S-A. I'll put it in the comment section below in case y'all want to save some money. And that is not an affiliated code. Like I don't get any commission if you guys use that discount link. Myron, the guy that owns Hawaii Rope Chains is a one man show. So it's a small business. And he was just like, hey, I wouldn't mind giving your followers a discount because a lot of them have come and bought some of my pieces. Would you like to share this with them? And I was like, hell yeah. So again, I don't get anything off the back end if you guys use that code. But go save yourself some money, go treat yourself to some nice gold, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.